Hi there, Frank here from Remick, and we have prepared a stress test here. Let me just stop the screen and then I'll explain what is happening here. So we are looking at four charts. This is actually has been recorded. As you see, I'm just playing the video now with VLC. So we are looking at four charts and then we're looking at the respective market scanner pro columns here below each chart. So the chart on the left is Remac Momentum Pro Indicator. And we have the Remac Momentum Pro Indicator in the setup, signal, and Keltner score columns. We also have the triple R and the HZ, the hot zone information here in the columns. But, and they will match up, they will pass the test as you will see. But we're not talking about those now. The test now is focusing only on the indicators. Remac Momentum Pro, here's the respective columns. Let me just mark it up as well. So we are focusing on these three. These three columns come from this indicator. And then we're going to move to Pro STR, the indicator. And these three columns come from the Pro STR indicator. Same way with the BT. These three are from BT. And then finally, BTX, and the same three are from BTX. Okay, so this is how we start. And you will notice this is a one minute bar, one minute time frame on today's ES session. And then I captured the screen in a video, and then I sped up the video, and I'm now playing it back with VLC, just the video player. And then I'm adding my voice to it so you can hear me, so I can explain what is happening here. So what is the purpose of the test? The purpose of the test is to prove, which something we know already, but to prove that the mathematical calculation on the chart and the messages that that mathematical calculation produces, and let me just draw up the pullbacks as well, the consolidation areas are marked up here. So you will see different colors on the chart. The magenta are bars outside the Keltner. So let's start at the beginning. When this is magenta bars outside the Keltner, then this should be less than minus one if it's below and more than plus one if it's above. So that was that one. Then the pullback areas. The pullback, as you know, precedes the trigger. The pullback is the setup, in other words. So when you see this yellowish color, that's a pullback area. And that's when we should have a setup message here in the Market Scanner Pro. And finally, we have the trigger on the chart. And when the trigger appears, then the signal should light up and give us a long or short signal message here. And that goes for all the four charts and all four Market Scanner Pro columns. So this is how it works. We also have bullish pullbacks, which means bull flags. And this one has failed, but nonetheless, it was green at the time. And when this green bull flag forms on the chart, we will have a setup, a long setup here in the appropriate columns. So I hope this makes sense. And again, the purpose of this is to show you guys on a very small, fast moving chart, one minute chart. So lots of changes, information appears on the chart and then disappears and appears and disappears in the columns as well. And all the relevant information that the algorithm provides us on the chart visually is the same information that the same algorithm provides us in Excel type, tabular, column type format in the Market Scanner Pro. All right. And uh, if you're new to this, then I just want to add the reason why we have 
created this market scanner pro column structure is that that we can put any number of instruments here currencies stocks etfs whatever is in your data feed you can add to this list and then you can monitor events as they unfold on the market without having to open up the chart so that's the purpose of the market scanner pro and then if you connect the market scanner pro with the same color these little buttons on the chart then as you know what will happen if i click on the es here then the chart will jump also to the es and that could be any instrument that you may have on the market scanner pro list so i think that's detailed enough and now i'm going to clean up the chart and what i'm going to do we don't want to sit here for six hours so what i did i'm going to speed up the video playback how many times 16 times now so maybe it should run 30 minutes 45 minutes maybe an hour we'll see how long it is but you'll be able to follow and what we want to look out for again is that any changes in information should appear at the same time in these columns and of course the triple r will behave the same way but back to the indicator in these three columns the same information will show up appear and disappear at the same time as the relevant information the same information appears on the chart all right so let's start the test i'm going to tape the screen now with the faster speed and then I'm going to upload that so again we are running this at 16 times and i'm going to go back to the beginning put it on full screen right here full screen and let's run it thank you very much and mindful trading here we go let's go